watch it. What are you doing way back there? You're not even in the right place. The nuts we're taking off are clear up here. Whatever this thing is. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever that thing is. Is it the muffler? That's a muffler for sure. <laughs> well, it's... Yeah, that's where it's at, right there. Back there. Okay, okay, so if you hold that and let it come over to that angle. To that. Yeah, don't get your fingers behind it. Then I can crank it off and up the cup. Okay. This is not girls' work. Come on. This is the bus <laughs> life. You gotta love it. I can do this. <laughs> you guys should have heard her a minute ago when the camera wasn't on. It sounded like a real mechanic. I, I want... I want the cardboard. YouTube, we're trying to take this thing out. That's where the generator is gonna go. So... There's the air cleaner and there's the engine over there and the fuel filter is up there. And right here is where we want to plug in the little generator. And it gives me glasses that won't stay up on my face. So it's like, <laughs> okay. There's a whole bunch of dirt up on this muffler. <laughs> I hope it's on there because I can't feel it. I can feel it, but I can't see it. The other one's even harder to get to, I think. Uh, yeah, this one. I'm still on it. You still have it. Is it doing anything? Yeah. Feels like it's unscrewing. Okay, here's the angle, guys. <laughs> hey, you got it this time. I got it this one. This is Look. the last one, he says. <laughs> My arms are barely fitting in here. But... <laughs> this is one of them small projects, YouTube. That's a... I go, okay, at the end of every day... Whoops, I slipped off. Or, okay, try. Sometime during the day, I'll try to kick this out. Uh, what's going on here? I can't see try. through your fingers. It's, you're not on it. you got to let this into the wrench. Let it into that next diamond. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> you quit laughing. Dave, this is ridiculous. <laughs> Where are the guys when we need them? <laughs> Let's say ye brave mechanic. <laughs> I am done. It was just six <laughs> bolts. We got it. That should lift out of there now. You want to lift it out? Victory. Same. Yeah, the whole thing should lift out of there. Right on, man. That's, well, that's where your generator is going to sit. Victory is ours! <laughs> <laughs> okay. So that thing made your generator set up three or four inches. Well, too high? Two and a half inches too high, anyhow. Uh, so it wouldn't fit. It I wouldn't fit with that in there. I feel dirty. Oh, oh you're a dirty girl. I am. Yes. So hopefully. We'll see how it fits. I'm going to make a cardboard pattern of it and see. We might have to reposition this fuel filter. But I measured it and I could turn it this away and it would still fit in there. So we'll see. But that was a great job, honey. Hey, you did it. I persevered, right? Yeah, you, you, I wish I would have caught you talking like a sailor before I turned the camera on. You were talking like trail sailor. <laughs> hey, what can I say? You've always challenged me and got me to do some stuff on this thing that I never thought I could possibly do or even want to do. <laughs> but you want a generator and now you got space for it. That's right. It doesn't have to be in our underbase storage. It can be back here and have its own little home, huh? Yeah. So perfect. You, you toughened up now. We're gonna call you Meredith Jr. Oh, yes. I'm like a Meredith, inspiration from you, girl. Thank you. <laughs> Power to the girls. <laughs> okay, guys, so this is the first steps in getting the generator in here. I got that uh, idler pulley out of the way, and I got the mount for the old air AC compressor torn out with Shelly helping me. Yay, Shelly. 
And now if I can relocate this fuel filter, so I think we can just cut this pendant and turn it. It actually looks like it'd be pretty easy just to turn it this way. And that'll give us the clear area we need for the compressor, I mean for the generator. So I think it'll go in there. It would work a lot easier if it had a slide out tray. That's the generator we want to put in there. So we can plug in, you know, if, it's, if it's oriented in the bus this way, uh, this is the side of the bus, then you can open the engine hatch to manually start it if the battery's dead. And you could open that hatch on the side to plug in over here. But uh, you need to get in over there to be able to change the oil. So I just think the whole thing would be a lot uh, more convenient if it just slid out on the tray like I've seen other people do. So working in that direction, we'll see how far we get. Anyhow, guys, like I said, that's the first steps in the direction of getting that generator on the back corner here. I like it better on the back corner than uh, versus the underbay. I'm not even sure if we have enough height in the underbay that we could get it in there, but it seems like a great spot to stick it right there. So I'm gonna see if I can find the slides and continue in that direction. So to make the generator slide out here, this thing's in the way. And the guys at the shop are suggesting that I just can take this out and connect this back to the bottom of that door and then reposition the latches so that the whole thing swings up. So I think if I take these out, I'd be oh, able oh, to... Oh, show me again. We missed that. I think if I take these out, I'll be able to just slide this piece out, I hope. Oh, it don't look like it's moving. Well, you still got a screw right here. Right. And one, I didn't know if I had screw that far. Oh. On the rub rail, too. Gotcha. Well, that's all of the screws removed. Keep your fingers <laughs> crossed. I can just... Oh, man. Yes. <laughs> How do you feel about that? I'm liking it. Yeah, totally. Now we can just hem this over. And it can become part of the door. Yeah. That's into that. Now we can just put them right back on, right? Because that's the motor mount. Yep.
Okay guys, check it out. We've got the door for our generator bay completely finished and painted. It is ready to go back up on the bus once we get the bus painted. So we're gonna go ahead and just end this video here and know that we love sharing the journey with you all and we will just catch you in the next one. Love to you all, bye.